Good morning. In Proverbs chapter 31, we'll read a couple of verses that speak uh, of the importance of speaking up for those who can't speak up for themselves. I know in the last several weeks we've seen uh, quite a bit of uh, protests and uh, rallies uh, trying to uh, bring forth those that are marginalized in our society. But you know, I think there's one group that just constantly is overlooked in terms of being marginalized and those who's, who uh, injustice is uh, uh, absolute. And that is the unborn that are taken by abortion. And uh, it says in verse number eight, open your mouth for the speechless in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and the needy. I'm here at the Pregnancy Help Center. That's what we do every time we meet. We give an opportunity to plead the cause for the poor and the needy. We give an opportunity to open our mouths for the speechless and to say that all life is precious. Let me tell you, it may not be politically correct to say all life matters, but I tell you, it is biblical to say all life is sacred before a holy God and that all life matters to God. God loves all people. He gave his son for all people. He created us all in his image. He gives us all the opportunity to come to know Jesus as his savior. You see, the life in the womb matters to God, sacred to God. And as we think of raising our voice for those who need to be heard, Yes, we need to speak out against any injustice in our society, but there's a great gross injustice, and that's what's done to little children in the wombs of their mother. Let's be praying, let's be grieved, let's be praying that God would forgive us, that God would heal our land, that God would turn this tide around, and in the midst of all the cries of injustice that's going on right now in our nation, we'd not forget this very most basic one, the cry of the unborn. Dear Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love for us. Lord, for this passage, Lord, it reminds us, Lord, to be a voice for the voiceless. Lord, to cry out for those who cry, can't cry out for themselves. And Lord, to speak for the, the injustice that goes on, Lord, against the most innocent. Lord, I just thank you. A couple of weeks ago, the Bill Lee, our governor, signed into law the most, the strongest, pro-life legislation in the United States. Lord, I'm proud to be in Tennessee for that. And Lord, I pray that you'll help us to see it's not a political issue. Lord, it's a moral issue. It's a life issue. It's a justice issue. Lord, it's an issue that every person should stand up and say, thank you, Lord, that I was spared. My life is precious. All life is precious. Lord, I pray that you'll help us this day. Lord, for those that are struggling with COVID, Lord, I continue to hear from my friends and different ones that are having such a difficult time. Lord, I pray that you'll be at the doctors and the nurses as they minister, as they care. Lord, as they take a stand for those who can't help themselves. Lord, for our policemen and our firemen, our EMTs, Lord, for our elected officials. Lord, just bless us and guide us. And Lord, bless the Pregnancy Help Center here in Smith County. Lord, as they minister to young women, to families, Lord, pointing them to the blessing of life, the sacredness of life, Lord, life itself in Jesus. Lord, I pray that you'll be with uh, the workers. Lord, bless, bless them. And Lord, for each person that will enter this doors, and Lord, I know that this is just one of hundreds and thousands of sinners across our, our United States. Lord, may they minister in your name and Lord, may they be a voice to those who have no voice and speak out for injustice. Bless us, Lord. Guide us in this day. In Jesus' name, amen. You have a blessed day today. And you be that voice. You speak out from the ones who can't speak out for themselves. God bless you.